In this video, you're going to see me demonstrate the shots you can play in badminton. The only shots that are not covered in this video are the backhand defense and the short serve. I've divided the shots by quadrant. So first we're going to look at the forehand net, then the backhand net, and then the midcourt, the forehand overhead, the around the head, and finally the backhand overhead. I've made this particular video for right-handers and for left-handers. I'm going to start with the right-handers. So I'm going to start off at the forehand net. And as you can see, I'm catching the shuttle at different spots on the court. That all depends on what kind of shot my opponent is playing. And the kind of shot that I'm playing all depends on my objective. So I'm either taking control over the net by playing a net shot, or I'm sending the opponent to the back of their court. So next up is the backhand net. Again, I'm trying to either control the net by hitting a net shot or sending my opponent to the back of their court by hitting a lift. On to the mid court. You'll mostly play these shots in doubles or mixed doubles, but could end up playing it in singles. And I've also thrown a serve in there as well. And here's the forehand overhead. So this is the corner that has the most variety. Uh, the reason why is because you, there's different kinds of footwork depending on what kind of shot the opponent is playing and what kind of shot you plan to play from that corner. So in this sequence you see me playing with a scissor kick, a cross behind, a jump out footwork, and you also see me play straight shots and cross court shots. You also see me play clears, drops, and smashes. The around the head corner is the same as the backhand corner, only you're playing it on a forehand rather than a backhand. 99% of the shots played out of this corner use the scissor kick, but sometimes you can do a non-racket leg jump out. Again, I'm playing a variety of shots from smashes, drop shots and clears, and either straight or cross court. And finally we have the backhand overhead. So with good technique and a good strength and conditioning program, you can still produce a lot of variety and power using a backhand. So with these last couple of shots, it brings us to our conclusion for right-handed hitters. So you guys can tune out if you want, but please remember to subscribe to my channel. Alright, left-handers. Let's start off with the forehand net. So the first portion of this sequence are all lifts, just keeping my opponent away from the net, pushing them all the way to the back. And now you're seeing me play some tight net shots and I want to control the net by playing these, forcing a weak lift and then maybe finishing off on a smash if I can. Alright, let's move on to the backhand net. So use net shots to control the net, maybe cause an unforced error or a weak lift and pushes to the back of the court or high lifts to the back of the court keeping your opponent away from the net. And here we have the mid-court shots. Usually you'll use the mid-court shots in doubles or mixed doubles, but uh, occasionally when you have the opportunity in singles. All right, let's move on to the forehand overhead. So as I said at the beginning of the video, the forehand overhead probably has the most variety connected to it. Uh, it just means that you can use multiple forms of footwork depending on what kind of shot your opponent has played and where you're catching the shuttle. Uh, you're seeing me play straight shots and cross-court shots, and you're also seeing me play smashes, clears, and drop shots. Lots of variety. Whatever shot you play from the backcourt, always remember that recovery is the most important, so don't play a shot that's going to put you out of position. Now we'll look at the around the head, and remember that the around the head is the same as the backhand corner, only you're playing it with a forehand. This is one of the deadliest corners actually on the court because you can scissor kick so aggressively it uh, allows you to play really hard straight smashes and deceptive cross court smashes. And last but not least the backhand overhead. So developing good technique and a solid strength and conditioning program will allow you to hit a variety of shots with a lot of power. This last clear brings us to the conclusion of this video. If you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.